So here's how to make a URL shortener in Blogger. For those who are new to Blogger, Blogger is a website for anyone looking to start blogging. It's free for everyone to use and it has a very user-friendly interface. So click on my link down in the description to start using Blogger. So first of all, we will have to log in to our account. And then, once we're in the dashboard, we will go over to the upper left corner and click on the drop-down menu. Here, you will click on the new block option and you will get this type of pop-up. So on this page, you will have to type in the name of your new block. So for this video, let's go ahead and type something random like Iron Stark. After putting in your name, simply click on Next. And after that, you will need to put in your blog post address. This is the URL for your new blog post. After that, click on Save and it will take a few seconds to process. So once it's done, then we will click on View Blog option on the lower left corner and after that, it will take us to our new blog we created. So as you can see, we're now on the new blog that we just created and it is pretty bland. Now from the Blogger dashboard, we will need to click on Theme from the left panel. And once you're here, we will click on the drop-down menu beside the Customize button. Then we can see many options like Backup, Restore, etc. But here we need to click on Edit HTML. Then it will take us to this page. Here we have to left click and click on Select All. And after that, we will have to paste the URL shortener code right here. You can search on Google and find a lot of codes that you can use. So for this video, I will be using this free code that I copied. So let's just paste it in the blogger code section. Then we will click the save option in the upper right corner. It will take a few seconds and then it will be saved. Now, once we're done, we will go back to our dashboard and click on the view blog option again. And as you can see, the theme is already in action. Here, there will be all the info. And here it's written latest posts. But since this blog is new, there aren't any posts available at this moment. So now we're going to close this tab and go back to our dashboard. From here, we will click on the new post option on the upper left corner. After that, it will take us to a blank page. From here, we will give our title and start writing. So now, put in a title of your first post. It could be anything related to your blog post. And once you put in the title, start writing your blog. After we're done writing, we will click on the Publish option on the top right corner and then click on Confirm, and it is published. After that, click on the View Blog option again, and it will take us to our blog post. And as you can see, our new post on the blog has been added. You can also add images and visuals to your blog to make it look more attractive. For that, let's go ahead and check out the steps. Go over to your Blogger dashboard again, and then click on your blog. Here, we will click the Insert Image option and click on Upload from Computer. Then we will click Browse and select the image from our computer. Just go over to the folder where you saved the image and select it. After that, just wait for it to load up. And as you can see, the image is inserted into the blog. Then we will click on the update option and it will be updated. Now we will go back to our dashboard and click on view blog again. And here, as you can see, the image that we just inserted is available in our blog post. Now just click on this and open it. After that, we will cancel this tab and click on view blog again to open our blog. And after that, we can see the blog post in the popular post section and there is our title of our blog. So this way, as you keep updating your blog post and people start visiting it, you will see that all the latest posts are in the latest post section and all the popular posts are in the popular post section. This way you can track and analyze what's working for you and what's not. You can also customize different sections of the blog and make it look according to your preferences. Now, we will head back to our dashboard and click on settings on the left panel. So once we're in the settings section, here we will scroll down and click on custom domain option and fill in our domain information and then we will have to click on save. Then we will click on the view blog option again 
and it will take us back to our blog post. So once you put in the custom domain, you will notice that your blog post domain name has been changed. Now, let's head back to our dashboard. From here, click on theme on the left panel. So once you're in the theme section, here we will click on the drop down menu and select edit HTML. So this is where we can customize each and every aspect of our blog post. For example, if you go over to our blog and on the top panel, you will get to see a lot of options. So let's say tech. Here, just press Ctrl F and you will notice a search bar popping up on the top of the code. After that, just search for tech. So once you type in tech, press enter. And here, you will notice all the lines that has tech in it. So this way, you can search for any part of your blog post. And then, you can select the text and replace it with whatever you want to replace it with. As an example, I'm replacing tech with stark. Once you're done replacing it, just click on save on the top right corner. Then, just wait a few seconds for it to get processed. So once it's done, go back to your blog post and refresh the page. And here, as you can see, tech has been replaced by Stark, and it's as easy as that. This way, you can change whatever element of the blog post you want. Now, click on this section where you need to type in a URL. So, as an example, I will go with google.com. Type in whatever URL that you want. So after you're done putting it in, you will notice that it generates a new link. From here, you can copy it or open the link directly. And also, you will notice some additional functions. And since our URL shortener isn't fully ready, it is not generating a shortened link. But once you customize the website properly, you will be able to generate links easily. Then, you can just select search and it will open the original URL. But as I said, since our URL shortener isn't fully customized, it is not opening the actual link. Now, let's open up the post that we had added. And here, you can see add code here, which is for advertisements. This is where you can connect and add various ads, or you can even remove it if you want. So, if you want to remove it, you need to follow the next steps. So, head over to your blogger dashboard and click on layout from the left panel. Once you're here, if you scroll through, you will get to see all the available sections where you can put in ads. So as an example, let's click on the edit option for article top ads. Here, you can put in the title of your ad and then add the content right here. And once you're done, all you need to do is click on save. And after that, once you get into your blogger website, you will notice that the ad is showing there. This way you can add or remove ads. And that is exactly how to make URL shortener in Blogger.